Welcome to Chrome Got Photo Art, and today is a very special occasion because it's the first time I've taken the big camera, aka the Intrepid 4x5, out on a shoot since that fateful morning at uh, Avery Stone Circle, and um, I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm going to a local a uh, place that I know well called Hellman Tour. I'm hoping for sunset light. It's now about 20 past six. Um, sunset being around about eight o'clock. Usually clear views all around in that place. But of course, who knows where the clouds will be in an hour and 40 minutes. Um, it's a tour uh, with stony outcrops and it overlooks a large nature reserve which belongs to the Cornwall Wildlife Trust of which I'm a member. The uh, turning to Hellman Tor is just on the right. It's pretty narrow from here. Well it's been pretty narrow for the last few miles. This is going to be very narrow. There is a nice little car park at the end which is, and the climb isn't too bad. It's really not that far. So I hope I'm in enough time to find compositions and hopefully the light will also Ball. And yes, Hellman Tour is in view. Now all we need to do is park. Have you seen the first couple of tourists? Yes. I'd like to have the place to myself, but I don't expect to. Looking fairly promising for sunset at the moment. This is all part of a nature reserve extending to the landscape below and I'll just turn around and see in the distance there is Brainy Common with wetlands, uh, heathland, uh, it's well known for its uh, rare butterflies, aquatic life, dragonflies uh, yes. and this is one of the highest places for miles around. I think I've found a possible first composition. Uh, we're looking up at this uh, Logan Rock. Logan means rocking stone. There's endless folklore. Each one has a tail attached to it. Um, but I think it will look good against the sky. I'm perhaps going to start with the Ektar and the 90mm lens, which I've just uh, looked at for composition purposes on this uh, Magic Film Viewfinder app. I'll put a link below. It's not my favourite app but it does the job, it gives me an idea of depth of field but I will need to fine tune the composition and I'll pick you up, flick you around and show you what I'm looking at. So I'm trying to get sky in beyond the stone because it looks as though it could be really quite impressive. Um, let's see how it works out metering wise. Sun's behind a cloud at the moment but I think it will shortly dip below and then there will be periods where the sun will more or less strike this directly which should give a nice glow but of course you don't know if that will actually happen clouds move things change but it's really still quite pleasant at the moment okay let's get on with this <laughs> Okay, so it's time to start fine-tuning the composition. Let's get the dark cloth out and have a look what we can see. Sun's out again, just as I expected. It's going to go through cloud again, but I still think there will be some sun later on. Let's get this reset for a vertical, for horizontal composition. Excellent. 
Oh yeah, that's a nice bright image. Need to be looking up a bit more. Alternatively, we could just use a bit of rise. I think that's about as much rise as we can get. There we go. So, what have we got on the foreground? The rock. Not those other things. Now, get it properly focused. Which might be a slight struggle. Okay. Time for the loop. Okay, so I think we're focused now. Now to get loaded with some film and take a light meter reading. Just before I do that though, just going to take a quick snap with the uh, Nikon FE. As things look nice f16 or maybe an eighth at f32 so there we are there's a an additional bonus shot with the uh, nikon let's stick him away again and let's get some film loaded oh let's get a night meter reading so for mid gray it's saying 12 and a third 12 and a third so you have second to between 16 and 22 so i'm going to go for an eighth at between f22 and f32 that should give me plenty of depth of field let's get it so let's get him loaded take shot number one so let's just check everything's locked in got a bit of front rise on here cable release is attached so what did i say right shutter is cocked i'm going to do a trial exposure okay that seems to be working so i'm going to take the exposure so is it dark slide out let's check that's all cocked and ready to go oh between an eighth of a second that's I'm going to check the exposure speed. Eighth of between 22 and 32. Right, corrected that. Could have made an error there. So, shut a cocked again. Dark slide out. Okay, let's get that all lined up. Shut a cocked. Exposure made. Turn dark side round. Right, one done. Okay, so I'm going to try another exposure where I'm going to use these rocks as leading lines into the ones above. Let's see if that works. I'm going to get the magic viewfinder out and see if that will go have to be slightly further back I think yeah I think that will work next composition is these two large boulders looking up towards the, the Logan rocks and the sky above okay everything as before still the 90 mil lens no filters I might try a polarizer for the next one. Right, we're ready to compose. We're probably doing a vertical this time. This is where it's painful because everything's spiky and everything's thorny. What the technical challenges are like. Fortunately, there's no wind tonight. Now I need to get the uh, Loop. Take another meter reading. Yeah, so just about 11. So that will take us at something like half a second at f32. All right, loop. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of front tilt. Help with the focusing, not too much just a degree or two 
that's looking not too bad right time to make an exposure once the light is good so we're gonna go f half a second at f 32 half a second shutter cocked that's working right shutter cocked again dark slide out everything's locked in lights still good make the exposure one two three okay dark slide in two hectare shot protective tabs over just about lined up I want to get fine-tuning focus all done before the Sun completely sinks behind this last cloud okay I think that's good enough start to sweat in here Sun is still going exposure meter reading 12 right quarter of a second F32 cock shutter which is cocked okay it's so already the sheet of ectochrome 100 film right shutter is cocked dark slide out and there we go dark side back in the other way and now then i think we need something with a bit of sky in don't we what can we do that with? right going to try and take a picture with the actual sun or the sunset ish in it with the this Logan rock part of the foreground of the sun in between the two rocks but enough talking got to do some framing up and composing uh, yes that's a good point okay we're all level it's just facing a bit back so right now we're level let's get the composition set up okay so we're level dark cloth required i'll bring you a bit closer so you can be in the action a little bit better but not be in it as it were Right, composition set up. This is a true sunset picture, Ektar 100, taking light meter readings now. So from the brightest part of the sky, it's showing at 12 and a third, the darkest spot. Sorry, that's the uh, battery. I won't do that. Darkest spot is seven and a third. Brightest spot is 16. Clouds are about 14. Uh, so I think we're going to go for about EV10. There's a good compromise in between. So at my F32, that's one second. Right, so one second. F32, shutter is cocked. All right, let's get the dark slide. shutter cocked again uh, 
Okay, so the sun is coming back. I'm just going to level it up a bit again. I don't think it was entirely level. So I think we're ready to go now. Sun is coming into perfect location. Dark slide out. Okay. And here we go. One second at F32, hectare 100. See what that comes out at. Dark slide. So that, I think, is us done for the night. So, post shoot roundup. Really enjoyed that. It was a bit hot and sticky. I got scratched to hell. I'm celebrating with tonight's. There's a pint of Thatchers. So, Thatchers, if you're watching this, get in touch. Enjoying this pint very much. It tastes good. It's still a beautiful evening. Can't believe it's the end of August. In Cornwall, normally it's raining and, and soggy. And yeah, that's normal for us. But uh, the fact that it isn't shows what an unusual summer it's been. I think we are due to start getting some rain soon, which might be interesting from the point of view of bringing up more fungi, um, more interesting um, landscape opportunities. But I'll definitely be getting out the um, 4 5 again, although I may not be shooting colour due to the very high cost. Anyway, enough talking, signing off.